In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the break-even point formula in dollars for a retail operation, a service business, and a manufacturing company. Coming up next on Holy Schmidt. Holy Schmidt! Hi everybody, it's Jeff Schmidt and welcome to another episode. Hey, I've got a question for you. Do you know how much you need to sell to cover both your fixed and your variable costs in your business? Are you a startup? that is looking for the number that you need to hit to turn the corner. Maybe you're just a business that has been in operations for a while and you want to know if you're doing better or worse this year versus last. Well, all of those can be answered in the break-even point formula in dollars. And that's what we're going to cover off today. So let's get right into it. Let's start off by looking at the break-even point formula in sales dollars. The formula is quite simple. It's all of your fixed costs on the numerator divided by your contribution margin from your product or service in the denominator. Contribution margin just means how profitable each unit that you sell is as a percentage of the overall revenue number. A unit can be a job if you're a painter, it can be a card if you're a card store, or it can be a beaded bracelet if you make jewelry. So why don't we start off with a retail card store and use the following numbers. Let's assume your fixed costs are comprised of rent, utilities, staff, and asset amortization, basically the shelves and all of the design of the store amortized out over the life of the store. In this case, let's assume that your rent is $2,000 a month, your utilities are $500 a month, your staff cost is $3,000 a month, your asset amortization is $1,000 a month. That all totals $6,500 a month in fixed costs. And that is your numerator. Now in the denominator, let's assume that you sell only cards just for the sake of this discussion. In reality, it's a little bit more complicated because most stores, in fact, most businesses sell more than one product or service. But just for the demonstration here today, let's assume that you only sell cards and they're $3 a piece. They're $3 a piece and the cost for you to acquire them from Hallmark or American Card Company or whoever it is you're buying them from is a dollar. So your contribution margin is $2 divided by $3 or 66%. Your fixed costs of $6,500 divided by 66% means that you need to generate $9,848 in sales before you break even with your store every month. Now let's switch the example and say that instead of a retail store, you are a jewelry business. You make beaded jewelry, which by the way, for those of you that don't know, is extremely lucrative. The actual cost for the inputs for a beaded bracelet is only a few cents, actually. Each bead is only a few cents. So let's assume the following costs. You have to have a studio, a place to make your jewelry, you have to have a craftsperson to help you, and you have to have a bit of marketing. That would be about it. So let's assume that the studio is $1,000, the marketing is $1,000, and the person to help you make the jewelry is $3,000 a month. So your total fixed costs are $5,000 a month. Now, remember I said that beads are very inexpensive. Now let's assume that you sell a beaded bracelet for $30. The input costs would be less than a dollar. So let's assume that beads, string, clips, etc., all of that just for this discussion will round up to a dollar. So your contribution margin is $29 in profit divided by $30 in sales price or 96.67%. So if you divide $5,000, that's your fixed cost, by 96.67%, you come up with a break-even point of $5,172.41. Not bad. Last but not least, let's assume that you own a painting business. You paint people's homes, offices, etc. Now this business has very little in the way of fixed costs. So let's assume that you have a van that you lease. It's $500 a month, and that's to carry all of the paint around. And let's assume that you have an employee that you pay $4,000 a month so your fixed costs are $4,500 per month. Then you do a bit of research or look into your records if you're established and you determine that the average paint job pays about $2,000. You have 15 gallons of paint at $20 per gallon, so that's 
$300 in paint, and about $50 in brushes. So your price per unit, or job in this case, is $2,000, and your variable costs are $300 and $50. So your contribution margin is 2,000 minus 300 minus 50, or $1,650, divided by $2,000 for the unit price, and you come up with a contribution margin of 82.5%. You divide the 4,500 by 82.5% and you come up with $5,454. Needless to say, there are probably quite a few well-to-do painters out there, especially if they run big businesses. Hey, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up so that other people can find it as well. And make sure you click subscribe and notifications if you'd like to get added to our list here on YouTube so that you get notified the next time we post a video, we post once or twice a week. Also, check out this video on break even in units because this is the other side of the equation. I just showed you how to calculate break even in sales. This video will show you how to calculate break even in units. Thanks for watching.